Welcome back everyone. I never made this video, but I figured I might as well make it now better late than never. But I'll go ahead and show you guys exactly how to screenshot on an iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, or iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now I've done the same exact video for the OnePlus 8, Galaxy S20, iPhone SE 2, and a lot of people want to know. So the process is pretty much just the same if you ever owned an iPhone XS or 10 or whatever. Now all you have to do is hold up the volume up button and the power button at the same time. So you hold it down 3, 2, 1, volume up and power button. As you can see, you'll get a little bit of like a little like, you know, screenshot icon thing. And then you'll get a little icon down below. Now I'll explain that in a second. Now for some reason on a lot of Androids, it's volume button down and power button. And I always get that confused, but it's volume up and these power button and that'll screenshot it. Now the little icon down here will actually show you a couple of cool little things. So once you click on it, you'll see a bunch of different icons. You can actually go and draw on your specific you know settings you can draw on your specific screenshot so let's say you want to you know have people look at this one you can actually highlight it circle it, whatever you want to do you have the pencil icon here you have the highlighter icon right here so you can go and highlight whatever you want to which is really cool you have the eraser tool right here so you can go and erase whatever you want to in case you run into any problems or anything like that you have another tool right here but really cool is you have the ruler tool so you can actually go and click that and draw straight lines if you know if you want to do that for some reason as you can see that's a pretty straight line right there <laughs> And you can do this with a lot of different things too, which is really cool. Another really awesome thing up top right, you can go and immediately share the screenshot right after. So you can airdrop it, mail it, put it on TikTok, whatever you want to. You can copy it. But a really cool thing is let's say you're done sharing it. If you go and click done, which is right up here, it'll actually give you a couple of different options of whether you want to save to photos, save to files, or delete the screenshot right after. So let's say you just temporarily wanted a screenshot and send it over to somebody and delete it. You can actually just do that if you just click delete screenshot. But you can also save to photos and save to files if you want to. Now if I want to go ahead and save to photos, I'll go and click save to photos. It'll automatically save to my photos gallery right here. I can go and click on my photos. And as you can see at the very bottom, it has that screenshot that I just did with that highlight thing right you know through the middle of it so that is exactly how you screenshot on not only the 11 series but the 10s the 10r and the iphone 10 series as well so that's really pretty much it if you guys have any other questions or anything let me know in the comment section below hit the like button that would mean so much but definitely hit that subscribe button every single subscriber that we get really does count so it means so much if you guys could hit that also check out the other links down in the description as well my twitter my instagram my second channel all those things are linked down below i'd really appreciate it if you guys would check it out more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.